All right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. I, I think it's important for investors that have been investing for a while and have evolved with their own program, as well as new investors, understand what the options are out there. The investing opportunity has changed immensely with the ability to invest for free, the ability to enter into certain uh, stocks for uh, partial share purchases, uh, and the ability to invest across a, a dynamic pie, um, the way that M1 Finance allows you to do this. In this video, I'm going to drop you guys into my dividend growth portfolio. It's comprised of 71 holdings. Uh, 61 of them are up. Uh, 10 are actually just marginally in the red right now. Uh, so I'm going to go over the, the full list for you. You're going to find this to be extremely valuable because for most people, they don't know what strategy they want to deploy and they really don't know what kind of investor profile they wanna fill. Um, but this can absolutely deliver the products in way of stock investing in a way that has never been possible po before. So with that guys, we'll kick you into the account and we'll conduct the review. Uh, to welcome everybody into the M1 Finance account here. This is uh, somewhat exploratory. A lot of you guys will find a lot of value in this in that I find that there's a lot of people who are interested in single stock. And unfortunately, being interested in single stock can sometimes uh, put people over allocated in way too few of stocks. And it moves away from the idea of uh, ample diversification within your portfolio. M1 Finance allows you to invest what you want in the names that you want. Okay, so for example, in this portfolio, I've got 71 positions here and I've changed my philosophy a little bit on what it means uh, to take advantage of the M1 Finance opportunity, at least from this perspective. I have just here recently uh, read a few articles, again, coming back to the fact that retail investors are too stupid to succeed on their own. 61 of these holdings are up right now, okay? 10 of them are actually down in value, and there is only one that's just over 10% down, and that's Nextera. That takes the cake for the biggest down name in this portfolio, but I've got some on the upside, 61 of these holdings are in the green so not too bad from a percentage perspective um, i would beg to differ and argue with anybody that says that a retail investor uh, can't succeed in stock market investing and that we need to crawl to the services of a financial planner uh, i guess i'm just breaking the mold uh, for people out there who maybe uh, want to buy into that they're going to continue to push that propaganda um, because there's always going to be people out there that don't believe that they've got what it takes to uh, invest in stock market investing. But as we start to creep through this, um, these are some serious gains here. Now, you know, a lot of these are two, three, four, you know, eight share positions, nothing too crazy. Some of them are partial share positions like this one in Broadcom where I've got just less than one share, right? The whole idea here is to grab exposure to these companies that I want to own. A lot of these are just great companies. I mean, the top, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five. The first top five are Dow components, right? Um, so, you know, these, these are, these are, it's a great way to grab exposure. I didn't, I don't get too cute with this. These are all big established companies. I'm, I'm a value investor at heart, but I, I can't own the entire stock market. With that said, M1 Finance really allows you to go out there and grab some broad exposure and put your dollars to work in a in a capacity that, you know, you may not want to put big positions in these stocks. You may just want to have some shares in them, and that's good enough. But if you start to look at some of these up over 20% in Goldman Sachs, you know, on, on a, a an average price here of 303 a share, cost basis less than than 500 and the current value up over 600 dollars for a 22 percent return 
not not too bad and and this is what i'm talking about when i look i know how good of a company goldman sachs is been around forever um, very well established global uh, business fantastic financial company and this just adds to the 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 uh, financial sector that i have in my total overall portfolio right it's just another arm of the portfolio that adds to the financial element and and right below it one of the largest insurers uh, in the business here with Travelers Company, another Dow component, I might add, nice, up nicely, up over 8%. And you start to think, well, you know, shoot, this is incredible. You know, on an aggregate, you know, the, these aren't rendering that much return in real dollars, okay? This is just over $43. But when you start to add these up one after another, you can really start to understand the method to my madness and that I'm getting broad exposure in some capacity to some of these companies <coughs> excuse me that that uh, you know I, I may not be able to hold large positions in in any one given name so I buy them all and M1 finance allows us to do that so here we, as we breeze through the list here you can see here the majority are green like I said I queued up the statistics for you guys 61. Uh, total holdings here are up and and we've got 10 that are down just I mean if it's in the red I counted it as a down here only down a couple percent look I can live through that Intel's gonna come back eventually um, I would find that in a conducive market most of these are going to return to the green anyway but at the time of filming this video for transparency I really just wanted to show you the granular nature of performance within each of these holdings um, these are all fantastic companies I, I don't screw around with my investing opportunity um, these are all companies that uh, I may in some capacity or another um, own in the uh, portfolio um, but but the majority of them I don't right so um, you can see some names here that I grab some exposure to here in AT&T um, here in uh, some Canadian banks as well so pretty cool um, and then in the energy space I mean I, I would have never thought I would have been up 25 percent you know ha had I th thought that that was the case I would have put a larger position on it but stock market picking is very very difficult to do so sometimes when you're you have high conviction on a name um, and, and you enter a big position in it and it doesn't work out for you those can be really damaging to the portfolio so what this allows you to do is it allows you to enter into some positions here uh, from a broad perspective um, and you, you're going to win some and, and, and obviously some aren't going to work out very well. At the time I bought NextEra, I was actually very, very bullish on this position. But look, we've digressed and we've, we've come back about 10% uh, in the name here. Um, but Charles Schwab, look at that performance up over 30%, you know, got a couple shares of it, nothing to shake a stick at. And again, on an aggregate, these real dollar amounts that are returned in the portfolio are, are, are quite impressive. And I would challenge anybody out there that wants to really be down on the retail investor and say that it's impossible uh, for a retail investor uh, to win at investing. Uh, I beg to differ, and I don't believe that I've broke the mold. I really don't. I believe that my strategy is very, very simple, very, very scalable. Um, the majority of these, if not in its totality, if you reviewed this list of companies that I'm scrolling down for you guys, this is basically a 71 stock pick portfolio rollout for you guys. I, I think you'll find that you're uh, very, very familiar, if not familiar with all of these names that I'm throwing out there to you guys. I'm not trying to reinvent. I'm not trying to outthink investing here. I'm just trying to grab exposure to those best companies out there that I know are going to grow their businesses over time and reward shareholders uh, by paying that dividend uh, uh, back to the shareholders that own these fine companies. So with that, guys, we'll uh, conclude the video and uh, we'll kick you back. Thank you so much for joining me on this portfolio review here. 61 of them are up, 10 are down. We'll continue to monitor this as we, uh, as we roll out these portfolio reviews for you guys. Thanks a ton. All right, fantastic, guys. So we've come out of the M1 Finance Dividend Growth Portfolio. Hope you appreciated uh, us rolling these out periodically for you guys. Uh, I will share the portfolio for you guys in the description below. 
So you can use it as a template to break down the sectors uh, in a manner that I have that helps a lot to be able to provide some structure to new investors free of charge. If you want the information, it's there. Uh, and uh, just looking to empower one investor at a time uh, by showing uh, multiple strategies, uh, all of which work in the market, uh, looking to align uh, all those different investors out there uh, that are going to take their own uh, independent approach to investing uh, and helping them along the way to financial success. If you enjoy what you got coming through the channel and the independent investor, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. And most importantly, you need to share this message with anybody out there that you know is interested in getting involved with or finding out more information information about the stock market opportunity. It couldn't be a better time to be an investor. And now is the time to share it with those folks. Bring them onto my message. Very, very genuine. I do this for you guys and I'm glad to do it. And we're going to be around for a long, long time. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.